So in this video, we are going to solve IJIDR sample set one, the maths part, question number 12. Many students have actually asked me uh, this as a doubt. So let me uh, attempt to solve this for you. Right, so before we begin the question itself, let's see a few series solutions which I will be using in order to solve this question. So 1 plus x plus x square up till infinity. This is an infinite geometric progression which gives us the value 1 by 1 minus x because geometric progression, the formula is a by 1 minus r, a being the first term. So I get this as the value. Now this summation can be written as summation n is equal to 1 to infinity x to the power n minus 1. So this is equal to this. Okay. Thereafter, what I do is I integrate both sides. So integrating left hand side and right hand side, we get integration of x to the power n minus 1 gives us n is equal to 1 to infinity x to the power n by n. And integration of this will give me minus log 1 minus x. Right? I didn't actually take the modulus because any which way is x has to be a fraction. Okay? Right? So this is something that uh, we will be using. Now, suppose I put x is equal to half. If I put x is equal to half, I will get minus log 1 minus half, which is basically log 2. Log 2 will be equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n into half to the power n. So this basically gives us if I take half outside, n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n, 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1. And this gives us 1 by 2, which is common, 1 plus 1 by 2 into 2 plus 1 by 3 into 2 square, 1 by 4 into 2 cube up till infinity. Now if you take a look at the series that we were considering, it was 1 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 4, 1 by 5 into 1 by 4 square. So what I did was, I am, you know, taking one odd. So suppose this is the first term, this is the third term, this is the fifth term. There is one term missing between each of these terms. So if here I have the multiplication by 4, 4 is becoming 4 square, 4 cube, that can be written as if I were to consider the middle terms as well, then the common ratio would become 1 by 2 instead of 1 by 4, because then it would be 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 cube, so on and so forth. So now if you take a look at this, 1 by 3 into 1 by 4, 1 by 5 into 1 by 4 square, 1 by 7 into 1 by 4 cube, you'll get the same pattern in the series that I am considering. So take a look at the series 1 plus 1 by 2 into 2 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 2 cube plus 1 by 5 into 2 to the power 4 is basically 4 square plus 1 by 6 into 2 cube, so 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5, so 1 by 6 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 by 7 into 4 cube. So we are getting the same pattern. But only on the odd numbers. So this 1 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus 1 by 5 into 4 square plus 1 by 4, 7 into 4 cube, right? So we are basically getting one extra term. 
we are basically getting one extra term in the middle. Okay, this entire summation is equal to log two. Mind you, this entire summation is equal to log two. So now I need to consider the middle terms. Right. So I can basically write this expression in this particular fashion. Let me erase this upper part so that I can do some working. Uh, okay. That seems good enough. So I can actually write this log two is equal to one by two into this series summation under consideration. So S plus one by two into two plus one by four into two cube plus one by six into two to the power five dot dot dot. This can be written as one by four plus one by two into four square plus one by three into four cube. Please notice all these terms can be written in this particular fashion. Okay, now let k be equal to one by four plus one by two into four square plus one by three into four cube. This is basically of the form summation one by n into one by four to the power n. N is equal to one to infinity. So this is of the form again one to infinity x to the power n by n, which is equal to minus log one minus x. So I apply the same thing here. So minus log one minus one by four. So that basically gives me minus log three by four. That gives me two log two minus log three. Am I clear? So what I did was I found out log two is equal to this entire expression. And I found out that all odd terms are giving me the series that I required. So I took S plus the even terms separately. Then I saw that the even terms also forms a familiar series. So I get the value of the even terms as this and ultimately I get it as two log two minus log three. Okay, I hope this is absolutely clear. Now let me clear out the bottom part. Okay. Now let me solve for the series under consideration. Okay. So this basically equals log two is equal to one by two S plus two log two minus log three. So this basically becomes log two is equal to one by two into S plus log two minus log three by two. This cancels out two, two cancels out, and I get S is equal to. So the series that was in consideration, the value of that is ln3. I hope this was clear. Many of you may want to uh, see the video again to look at the working. Kindly feel free to pause and to rewind and to see the video. All the best with the other questions. See you in the next video.